Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now I did, I've been using, I've got this one here to show you. Um, this is a nice ice yarn. This one is Magic Glitz and it's these beautiful shades of purple. I'm going to do my sample of this stitch. I'm going to start a new one of these and I'm going to do it in this. The one that I've got here is the Ice Magic I think it's just ice magic. Um, there is a one that's called Baby. Uh, the pinks in it are much lighter, but this one's got a lot of dark pinks and dark greys in it, like this. It's really pretty. Now look at this. I've still got some some yarn that's all sort of unraveled itself, and this is a triangle shawl. It's done in the triangle from the middle, and you work your way out. And I'll fold it over because it, it's quite large and I can't get it all in. This is really cheap to make as well. This whole size is two balls of yarn. That's 200 grams of this size of ball. Two of these so far. I'm going to do another one and that'll make it three and it'll be a bit bigger. But I thought you would like to see this. Uh, it's really, really pretty. It's done in a front post and back post stitch. Now, this is done in a triangle shape like this. There's lots on YouTube already on how to do triangles. This one's done in a rib stitch. So there's there's lots out there. I don't think you can't do it. You can. So I'm going to show you how to, to do this. I'm going to use this purple one for that purpose. I'll pop this one back up there. Size of mat I've got on my table. <laughs> now what I have here is I've got two I've got two crochet hooks. <laughs> you not you don't need to use two crochet hooks. Um I was finding trouble finding a seven millimeter Addy swing crochet hook. Now I usually use I usually use the Addy Max and it's a longer hook. They only go up to six millimeter. So one of my friends, I've got a few, and I've got a few friends called Pauline, by the way. So one of my friends, Pauline, gave me one crochet hook, and a lovely friend of mine, her name is Janet, and Janet sent, she sent me this other one. She sent me other things as well. She's a really lovely, lovely lady, and I have got, <laughs> I did get it, Janet. And you can never have too many crochet hooks. So what the one the blanket I've just showed you needs a, a seven millimeter crochet hook, and so will this one. So I've got one for each of my projects. You can never have too many. And now you can either chain four and join it into a ring, or you can make a magic circle or a magic ring. I just put the yarn down my hand like this with the tail end. Wrap it around my fingers as if you were doing a slip knot and pull your yarn through. Just bring up your working end of your yarn and I'm going to chain one and that's going to skewer it. We pull that in just a little bit. Now I'm going to work three sets of treble crochets into this ring. If you're in the USA, this is double crochets. If you're in the UK, it's treble crochets. So I've already got one chain on there. I'm going to chain five. I've already got one there. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. That becomes the last stitch in the round. Into the circle, I'm going to put three treble crochets. So yarn over and do three UK treble crochets. If you're in the USA, that's three double crochets. So yarn over, I've done one. Pull through, yarn over, through two loops. Yarn over and through two loops, that's two. Yarn over into the circle. Pull through, yarn over, through two loops, yarn over and through two loops. So that's my first set of three. And that chain five is my first corner. I'm going to chain two, one, two. 
Into the ring again, I'm going to put another three treble crochets. So yarn over, that's one, two, and three. Chain two, one, and two. And we're going to do two more treble crochets. I'm going to pull my ring in, tighten up that center. I'm going to put two treble crochets in because this one from the chain of five is going to make number three. So I've done my chain two and I'm going to put two treble crochets into the middle of my circle. That's one and two. I'm going to slip stitch to the chain of five and to the third stitch in the chain of five. So count one, two and three. And that completes my circle. Pull through and through again. Now that's your little triangle. I'm going to slip stitch into the top space here. It keeps it neater if you slip stitch into your top corner space here and your triangle and that's your corner. You can clearly see your corners. You've got your sets of three in a corner. You're going to chain three. One, two and three. Now into that space, this is your corner, put another treble crochet. So that gives you your two treble crochets, one and two. Chain two, one, two. Now put two more into that corner. Your corners will always have two treble crochet, two chain and two treble crochet. So that's has made the next corner for the next round. These three stitches, we're going to do a front post stitch, a back post stitch and a front post stitch. We're going to start the pattern. So yarn over and you're going to go around the post of that stitch. Not into the top of it, you're going to go around the stock of the stitch. Pull your yarn through, pull it up so it's the same height as the rest and pull through to make your stitch. The next one you're going to work around it and do what's called a back post stitch. So yarn over and come through the back and through again. So the post of the stitch is on the back of your hook. Pull your yarn through and finish your stitch. We're going to do a front post stitch on this next one. So yarn over and around the stitch and pull through and finish the stitch. So we're now at the next corner. The corners always get two treble crochet, two chain and two treble crochet. So two treble crochets into the corner, into that big chain space, one and two. Chain two, one, two, and do another two treble crochets. One and two. Now the three stitches again on this side, front post, back post, and front post. So yarn around and come around the post on that stitch. Work around the post and do a front post stitch. This time we're going around the back of the next stitch and pull through. The last one, front post. And we're back at the next corner. Remember, you've only got three corners on a triangle. So yarn over, two treble crochets, one, and two, chain two, one and two, and two more treble crochets all into that corner. That's one and two. 
Now we've got our last set of three, front post, back post and front post. So yarn over and go around the front post and pull through. The next one, you're going around the back. So come in from the back and pull through. And the last stitch, you're going around the front. Just like that. So now we're going to join the top of that chain of three. So count one, two, and three. And you're going to join and join your round into the top of that stitch. Do a slip stitch. Just pull through. And then pull through that stitch to join the round. Now we want to start the next one in the corner in this two chain space. So what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch into the space and then slip stitch into the top of your triangle. And that way we'll be starting the next round at the point of the triangle. And this is what you should have. You should have your top of your point and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stitches, then a corner. And you should have another seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Your second corner. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And back to the top. Every round we do, we will be ex we will be adding four stitches to each side every time we do this side. So the next round you should have eleven in between your corners. So we're going to chain three. One, two, three. That's your first treble crochet in the corner. Put another one in to make two. Now chain two, one, two. Two treble crochets into the corner again. One and two. Now what we're going to do is front post, back post, front post. Now that one's already at the front, you can see it. So when you start your new round, you'll always start on a front post here. So yarn over and around the front post. And finish your stitch. So the next one is a back post stitch. Go behind the stitch. Make sure the stitch is at the back of your hook. That's why it's called a back post stitch. So your next one is sitting at the front anyway. You can see it up to the front like this. So that's a front post stitch. And then a back post around your next stitch. Then a front post all the way to the corner. Front, back, front, back, front, back. Round the back one on this. And then a front post. And that's your next round on your next side. So now we're at a corner again. And what do you do in the corner? Two treble crochets, two chain and two treble crochets. And if you're in the USA, that is two double crochets, two chain and two double crochets. So we'll do that. That's one and two. Chain two, one, two, and two treble crochets. One and two. And that's has made our next corner. So that is your corner. And we're going to work along to the other corner Front post, back post, front post, back post, front back, front back. So you'll always start your next stitch on the front post. 
if you're on a back post then you haven't done that round properly so front post then back post and then a front post and then a back post all the way along to the other corner and that's what you're going to do round after round after round each corner you'll put two trebles two chain and two trebles and you will work a front post back post along to your next corner so this one is a front post and then we're at the next corner so we're now at the next corner two treble crochets one and two chain two one two for our corner and two more into that same chain space one and two so now we'll work front post and back post all the way along to this row here and we'll join our round so we're going to do a front post like the the granny square what we did the mosaic granny square but this time it's a triangle we're not doing a square so my last one is a front post and then we'll close the round we'll close round three so we're going to close it into the top of that chain of three one two and three just put your hook through make sure i get two parts of that stitch and slip stitch to join and through so we're going to slip stitch into the next space and then slip stitch into the top corner it's a lot easier if you start your next round on the point of your triangle and this is what we've got so far like this now don't think that my hook's too big once this gets bigger it'll be really light and airy like this one this one is it's really light as you can see and it's the same yarn it just doesn't have that glitter through it it doesn't have that metallic thread so this is what we've got i'll we'll put that on the top of that one and you can see what it is that you're doing like this that will straighten out don't worry about that one it will straighten out like that and that's your corners running up there so we'll move this one back put one back up there so i'll show you one more round and then I'll do some more work on this and come back and show you what it looks like. Now, like I said, if you want to put a marker in your corners, you can. And each corner gets two treble crochet, two chain and two treble crochet. So we're going to do chain three to begin the round. One, two and three. Put one more treble crochet into the top of your so that gives you your two treble crochets so we're going to chain two one and two and put two more into that top corner or the point of your triangle one and two so now we have more stitches to work again it's going to be front post back post front post back post all the way to the next corner and you'll work in those new stitches from that last round so it's front post and back post all the way to the next corner so yarn over and go around the front of the post just work around that post with your treble crochet or a double crochet if you're in the usa and pull through for the back one 
around the front for the next one. So it's front post and back post all the way along. And as you can see, your front posts are joining up with the ones that are already there. Now, if you have a look on my channel and you'll see the mosaic granny square that I did, that's beautiful as well. And it's really worth going and having a try at that as well. So pull through, yarn over and through for your front post all the way to the next corner front post and back post around your stitches and around and I'm going to finish on the front post on that side looking really really pretty once a color change comes in it's going to be amazing we're at the corner two treble crochet two chain and two treble crochet then you'll do your front post your back post your front post your back post all the way to the next corner when you're at this corner two treble crochet two chain and two treble crochet and work to the end and you will join the round at the top of there. So I've done another two rows, and this is what you get. Now you can clearly see where you are with your top point and your two corners, with your little pointers going right to the corner anyway. So what you'll do is two treble crochet, two chain, two treble crochet, and then work your front post, back post, all the way to this corner. And then again at this corner, two treble crochet two chain and two treble crochet front post back post all the way to this corner so if you start on a front post you should finish on a front post and then do the same at this corner two trebles two chain and two trebles and if you're in the usa that's two double crochet two chain and two double crochet and then work your front post and back post all the way up your blanket and this is what you get. This is beautiful, this yarn. It's coming out absolutely beautiful. Now, this would be amazing for a wedding show if you got this in a white. Look at the white that's going to come through there. And it's absolutely beautiful. So you will just continue with that as long as you want to. Now, if you say to me how many rows to do, I don't know. I don't know how big you want your triangle to be or your shawl to be. So I'll bring my pink one in and look at that. I'll fold it up so we can get it all in. It's absolutely beautiful. Now this is only two balls and it's quite stretchy. Look at this. Everyone says, my goodness, look at you stretching all your work. But it just comes back into shape. And look at that. It's like a rib stitch. And it's completely reversible as well. And it's so pretty. And look at that. That is so, so pretty. And it's a shawl and it's worked from the centre. As long as you make sure that when you do your corners, it's two treble crochet, two chain and two treble crochet. And then do your front and back post all the way along to your other corner. So... It just leaves me, I need to do some more of this. So I'm going to pop that, pop that, you can't get it all on. So thank you very much for watching. I'll move my mat over and never mind the sides. You're not here to see my mat. That's ridiculous that someone sent me a message saying, get a bigger mat. My goodness. But anyway, thank you very much for watching my channel if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and if you click on the bell icon then youtube will alert you when i put up another tutorial so until the next time happy crafting give us a try it's beautiful it's beautiful in 
this variegated yarn and you don't need to use the variegated yarn for this so give it a try so until the next time happy crafting and i'll see you all again soon goodbye